Here's a few upgrades I made to my meta bike. I put some chain tubes on to keep my pants from getting greasy. Although I, I just have them on with mechanics wire. And I think I'm just going to leave the outside tube, take off the inside one, it'll be a little lighter and it'll still, yeah, it'll still keep grease off my pants. I also changed the pulley system. I bought it for this bike, but um, as you can see, it was supposed to have two bars, but it just won't fit under my seat. I didn't really want to prop the seat up any higher. Um, this was actually made for a metaphysics, and this is a meta bike. Metaphys metaphysics was the original brand before RBR. The Bike Shock took over this brand. I do have some new tires so I can get these hybrid style tires off of it and put some uh, more road bike size, make it a little faster, a little lighter. That will be coming in and who knows when nowadays. And then I also have some uh, little bit better grade pedals with a full bearing system. This has got a, a bearing and then a bushing. A little cheaper. Hopefully you can hear that in the video. And I'm just trying to reduce some of the friction and make it faster. Here's another upgrade I made to my metaphysics or metabike. There you go. Recumbent. I put this brand pedal on it, Issy. Little nicer quality than what was on there. Actually a lot, it's all full bearings. I put two chain tubes on, but I actually removed one. Just leaving the outer one to keep my pants from getting greasy. We'll see how this ends up working. You can see how the chain, I think the chain's going to end up rubbing the tube. I took it for a short ride. I don't see any issue or noise, but I'll know once I start torquing up a hill. Oh, here's another. I'll pause this a second. Here's another benefit to getting a different pedal is spindle length. Uh, from the end of the pedal here to the center, I actually gained about, yeah, I gained about a five millimeters pedal width, which is nice because it's a little more knee friendly for me. Here we go, I got the new tires on my meta bike and I got all the performance upgrades that I was looking for focus there I got the TerraCycle pulley TerraCycle pulleys with the uh, little nicer bearings and let's see if I can't yeah it runs on a, a cog versus just an o-ring like the basic ones came with there's the ones it came with. I probably already showed that in another video. These made a lot of clicking and clacking noises. And the new one doesn't do that. It does make a little bit different of a noise because you can feel the chain going over the cog, so it's a little different, but overall it's a lot quieter. Like I said, I put the tires on compared to the stock ones, which were 735s. Did just a little degreasing. I don't go overboard because I'm only going to ride it and get it nasty again. So I did a little washing. And uh, we will see how it works performance-wise because I'm looking to make it faster than it was when it was stock. Here's the pedal upgrade with the pedal extenders. Uh, these I think are 25 millimeter. And with the pedals, like I think I mentioned in the video before, um, it's a little longer spindle, so it puts my feet out wide. I've already done a ride on them, and yeah, it's a nice position. I I didn't have much knee pain or sore or anything. 
All right, I'll let you know how it goes once I ride it. Oh, yeah, I took the chain tubes off. They were just too annoying. I couldn't find a great way to mount them. I had mechanics wire. I had two tubes. I wasn't a big fan, so I took one of them off. I just ran one tube, but chain tubes are always a little too noisy for me. It's I can hear the chain sliding through them. It's definitely an OCD thing. I'll definitely admit to that. All right, I'll let you know how it goes. One of the things I had to do to put the new pulleys on is I had to make spacers for underneath the seat. I just cut up some flat alloy stock I had, drilled some holes, just so I can make it clear the bottom of the pulley, because this is a floating pulley, and I can't get a good angle on it. It clears now, but when I'm all the way to the outside, it hits here when I'm sitting on it. Uh, I don't want to raise it up any higher because I've raised it once before and it's like just my body weight wants to remold this plastic. So what I think I'm going to do is just, there we go, notch this right here and redo it. But the truth of the matter is it's not giving me any issues now, only when I'm big chain ring, big chain ring, and that's usually when I'm downhill. So until it starts giving me an issue, that's when I'll fix it. For now, good to go. Here's a few things I've I've noticed since I've done my upgrades, and this is the first ride I've done with the tires on. But with all the upgrades I made between the pulleys, the pedals, and the tires, it definitely feels a little easier to climb uphill with. Definitely less friction. It rolls really nice. And uh, I was worried about the thinner tires and higher pressure giving me uh, you know, harsher ride quality, but I can honestly say that it didn't. I'm not running them full PSI. These tires are 115 PSI. I have them at 100. Um, seems to be a good PSI. It doesn't feel squishy. The wider pedals that I talked about earlier definitely feel good on my legs. And, of course, the pulley system. That was probably the biggest upgrade, I have to say, because the pulleys that came on it were really yeah there was just a lot of friction on they were really junky I mean for any of your standard flat rides fine but a lot of my rides end up at you know anywhere from 1400 to 2000 feet of elevation it's the nature of where I live so a good uh, so a good idler wheel is really important on these things for, for that type of thing all right, I'll stop walking around. That's what I did to my Metabike.